Here we're going to look at how to shift the index for power series and this is generally done when we want to combine two power series but for whatever reason uh, the indices start a different number. So here you can see we have two power series. One of them starts at n equals 1, one starts at n equal to 0. Uh, so the idea is that we want to basically do two things. One, in order to combine the power series nicely, we want the same power of x. Same power for x. And then also we need the same starting index as well if we're going to combine these. Okay, so you'll notice first we have x to the n minus 1, we have x to the n, we also have n equals 1, n equals 0. So we want to look at what we will do for that. So there are a few ways to do this. I'm just going to show you one method and I think this will suffice. So the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and go through each power series and let k equal to um, the power of x that we have in each power series. So for this one we'll have k is equal to n minus 1 and for this one we'll just have k is equal to n. That's going to be an easy second substitution not super important, but we just want everything in terms of the same idea. Okay, so if we do that, and we'll go ahead and make a note here, so let's work on the first one. So we have n equal to 1 starting, and then we have a sub n x to the n minus 1. So we said our substitution here is going to be k equal to n minus 1, or another way to look at this is that n would be equal to k plus 1, right, if we sort of solved that for n. So if we look at that one, and we just sort of replace everything in terms of k, so our starting index here, so if k is n minus 1, if n starts at 1, then if we do it in terms of k, we index this in terms of k, it will start at 0, 1 less than n. And then here a sub n becomes a sub, and n is k plus 1, so this becomes a sub k plus 1. And then when we replace x to the n minus 1, that becomes x to the k. So we have everything in terms of k for the first one. All right, let's take a look at our second one here. So here we just said, okay, for this one, n was equal to 0. For our starting index, we have n, a sub n, x to the n. So k is equal to n, that's an easy substitution. So our second one here becomes k equals 0 to infinity, the n becomes a k, a sub n becomes a sub k, x to the n becomes x to the k. Okay, so now we have our new version of the sum of two power series in terms of k, and you'll notice k has the same starting index, so we have the same power, x to the k, we have the same starting index, they both start at k equals 0, so now we can just go ahead and combine these and make this look a little bit nicer. So we can go ahead and say that this will be the sum from k equals 0 to infinity, and then the entire thing we have a sub k plus 1 plus so really what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually just factor out x to the k plus k a sub k, so all of that times x to the k. So that may be another way that we write that when we combine it. A uh, common thing will be to factor out our x to the k and have that outside of our other expression here. So that would be shifting the index. We only really had to shift the index of the first one that started with the n equals 1. Let's look at another example here. So in this example, first we want to make sure we have the same power. So looking at this, in this power series, I'm going to let k equal to n minus 1. Over here in this power series, k will be equal to n plus 2. So at least start out with that. So for this one, k equals n minus 1, another way to write that would be n is equal to k plus 1. Over here for this one, k equals n plus 2, another way to write that would be n equals k minus 2. And then we'll go from there. So this one here, 
becomes, now k is n minus 1, so if n starts at 1, then k would start at 0 to infinity. So here we have an n in this, n we know is k plus 1 for this one, a sub n, so that would be a sub k plus 1, and then x to the n minus 1 becomes x to the k, plus, all right, so now we're over here in this substitution, so we have the sum, we start at n equals 0, so if n is 0, then that would be 0 plus 2 would give us k, so k, in other words, would start at 2 here. All right, and then a sub n, n is k minus 2, so this would be a sub k minus 2. x to the n plus 2 would become x to the k. Okay, so we've made our powers match. We both have x, uh, both power series have x to the k. So now the idea is, you now notice that the indices don't match. One starts at k equals 0, one starts at k equal 2. When this happens and we've made the powers agree, what we want to do is we want to just move, if we have multiple power series, we want to move any index forward that is behind another one. Okay, so our, our index that is the most uh, in front would be this k equals 2. So we want to move everything up to the point where k equals 2, then they'll all match, and then we can go from there. So what we first want to do is go ahead and figure out what does k equals 0 give us? Because we're going to start plugging in at 0, then we'll plug in at 1, then at 2 we'll match. So we want to look at what would k equals 0 give us in this first one. So out front in the k plus 1, we'd have 0 plus 1, which would give us 1, times a sub k plus 1, which would be a sub 1, and then x to the k would be x to the 0 in this one. So that's k equals 0. Let's go ahead and do the next term, which would be k equal to 1. So if we plug that in, then that will, in here we'll get 1 plus 1, so that'll give us 2, times a sub k plus 1 would be a sub 1 plus 1, so a sub 2, and then the power of x would be x to the 1. Okay, so we get two extra terms from k equals 0 and k equals 1. So this term here we just get a sub 1, this term here we get 2a sub 2x. So these are the two extra terms that we get here, and then once we just put those out front, we can go ahead and start at k equals 2, because that will be the next term we get out of that power series, and then the indices will match. All right, so we get an a sub 1, we get a 2a sub 2 times x, plus, and then both power series will be at, starting at k equals 2, and then we'll just factor out the x to the k and combine their expressions. So in the first one we have k plus 1, a sub k plus 1. In the second one, so plus, we have a sub k minus 2. And then we said we were going to factor out x to the k, so there's that. So you can see we have this nice power series starting at k equal 2. The other stuff out front, we just had to bump one of the power series forward two terms, and those were the terms we got from k equals 0 and 1 before we made the, the indices match there. All right, last example this one, just a little bit more complex. Um, so here we have the same type of deal. Uh, we're kind of looking forward to the types of things you see when you differentiate a power series when you're solving uh, a differential equation using power series. The one thing that's different about this one is that we have... I mean, we have three power series here, but you'll notice we have an x times a power series out front. So you think about everything inside that power series is going to be get multiplied by x. So what we really want to do is go ahead and distribute that x into the power series first, and then sort of go from that point. So we'll go ahead and keep this n equals 2 to infinity power series as it is. So we'll write that down, n, n minus 1, a sub n x to the n minus 2 plus, so here when we multiply the x in, that's going to increase the power of this x to the n minus 1 by 1. So if we add 1 to that power, then that will give us a power series going from n equals 1 to infinity, n a sub n x to the n. 
And now we'll leave this last one the same as well. n equals 0 to infinity a sub n x to the n. Okay, so next thing that we'll do now that we've sort of distributed the xn, so now we just go through the same two steps again. So we look at substituting anything for the powers. So this is really the only one that needs a change. Okay, so for this one, k will equal n minus 2. Since we already have x to the n in both of these, for both of these we will just have k equals n here. So really the, the maneuvering is done on the first power series here, k equals n minus 2, or another way to look at this, n equals k plus 2. All right, so let's work through this. So the first one here, we're going to get the sum from, if n starts at 2, k is n minus 2, so k would start at 0. So sum from 0 to infinity. So we have an n here, that becomes k plus 2 n minus 1, so if n is k plus 2, n minus 1, 1 less than that would be only k plus 1. a sub n, so that would be a sub k plus 2, and then this x to the n minus 2 becomes x to the k. Remember that's sort of our first goal is to get x to the k. All right, each of these are going to export just like we see them over here because k is equal to n, so we'll just copy them down in terms of our new variable. So k here, 1 to infinity, here this becomes k, a sub k, x to the k, plus, and then here we get k equals 0 to infinity, a sub k, x to the k. All right, so we've made all our powers, x to the k, in every term, in every series. So now we need to look at making the indices match. So out of these three indices, you'll notice that the one that's farthest forward is the k equals 1. This one's farthest forward. So what we need to do is bring the other two, these k equals 0 ideas, up to k equals 1, then they'll all be the same. So we just need to generate the first term from those two. So let's look at, in this first one here, if we plug in k equals 0, into this first one, then that would give us, so let's see, 0 plus 2 would give us 2, 0 plus 1 would give us 1, a sub 0 plus 2 would give us a sub 2, x to the 0. So in other words, that looks like 2, a sub 2 here. And then over here, what we get from k equals 0, plugging in, that would give us a sub 0, x to the 0, in other words, just a sub 0. Okay, so those are the terms we get from the k equal to 0. So we'll go ahead and write that. So we'll go ahead and say a sub 0 plus 2 a sub 2. And then all of the others are starting now, sorry, all the power series are starting at k equals 2. So k equals 2 to infinity. And then we'll go ahead and factor out our x to the k and write it last. So from the first power series, we get k plus 2, k plus 1, a sub k plus 2. Plus, now from the second power series, we just get k, a sub k. And then from the last power series, we just get a sub k. And then we have x to the k in each of those, so factor out x to the k. Now what you may see here, you'll notice um, sort of a little picky thing here. We really have common terms here. We have a sub k terms, so really another way to write these two terms might be to have just simply k plus 1 a sub k. It's not a super big deal. We can certainly still do anything we need to from here. But that might be a nicer way to write that and have less terms in there uh, and combine like terms, which we like to do whenever we can. Okay, so this, these are examples of just how to index uh, and how to change uh, the expression so all the indices start at the same place uh, and in terms of the same powers of x. So check out the next video where we actually work out, I think, two examples of solving uh, how you would go about solving a differential equation using this kind of idea.